is Mrs Marja here again. Welcome back to an episode of Animals. First of all, last week's questions, I asked you what does an invasive species mean? So that means an animal that doesn't normally live in this country but has moved to this country. Invasive, it's invaded the area. I also asked you how long terrapins can live for. They can live for 30 to 40 years. And question three was what was the shell of that terrapin called? And it's a carapace. So today we are going to look at my largest snake. We're going to have a little look at what this is. Some of you might know what this is, but we're going to have a little look at what this is. Can you hear it crinkling? Now, the snakes we're going to meet today, there's two of them. One is a baby one. Um, when I say baby, it has grown quite a lot since we've had it. So it is quite long now, but it's not as thick, round, if you look that gap there as the big boa, which is this one. I've just given it away. We're looking at boa constrictors today. It's really important you guys understand that when I'm handling and my family are handling these animals, they are safe, they're okay. We're not taking them out to deliberately poke and prod them around, which wouldn't be fair. We take them out for health checks. It is good for them to be used to handling because they need removing from their vivariums when we clean them up. Okay, it's also really important you guys know that when we're putting the snakes around our necks, they are safe. The reason they're safe is because our snakes are fed regularly. So our snakes are never hungry, except when they're due a feed, in which case we don't handle them. They're waiting in their vivs and they get fed. So they're very safe. Even when they look like they're tightly round our necks, they're not. Um, I would never put anyone in danger and certainly not our animals in danger. So do not worry if you think, oh, that snake's around someone's neck. It's safe way. The reason we do that is because snakes don't have arms and legs to hold on to things. They need to feel secure by being tightly wrapped around arms or on shoulders or necks and they're supported. Basically, human trees. So the human tree I have today helping me is my son Joshua. And yes, boys can have long hair. I've had many a discussion about this. Um, Josh is an adult, he's given his full consent to be in this video. He is going to just be a human tree for our boa constrictors. So there'll be two we're meeting today. Let's go and meet them. Hope you enjoy it. Bye now. So here is the youngest of our boa constrictors. We've had this guy probably about 18 months. He's called MJ for short. His full name is the same as Thor's hammer. I wonder how many of you will know what that is. A boa constrictor can be arboreal, and this means that they climb on trees rather than live only on the ground. They originally come from South America. Both our boas, MJ here and Albert, who's much bigger and you'll see later, are albino snakes and that means they've lost the dark skin pigments. Boas are normally a brown or black coloration with dark red patterns sometimes on the tail, sometimes called a red tail boa. Our guys are yellow and orange and pale but have a really close look at some of their scales and some of their patterns. They are both slightly different. This one, MJ, is slightly paler. It's really important to note that I won't pull my snakes around and make them feel uncomfortable just to make a nice video. So it can be a bit tricky when we're filming. I just let them crawl around and explore of their own accord. In the slow motion videos, have a really good look at MJ's tongue. It's split into two bits like a fork shape. He flashes it out and in, tasting and sniffing the air. Also have a really good look at his eyes. They have amazing patterns over them, very distinctive and different to human beings. So since he last saw you, Desi has shed. They do this when they're growing and refresh their skin. They're not like human beings. They don't shed a little bit of skin every day. They do one big shed. So this is actually in one full section. If we look really carefully, you can see on this piece here, these are the underbelly scales of Desi. They're longer and flatter. And these are 
the overbelly section, these smaller shaped scales. If you've done tessellations in your maths, you'll see that that's what this skin is like with the scales. Also, what's really interesting is on the headpiece, you can just about see here and here, two little eyes. So this is the face of Desi. When they shed their skin, it goes completely inside out. And you can see the snake goes inside out and it crawls out from inside this shedded skin. Now this one is literally just this week Desi has shed. And you can see his little face was covered here, the little eyes and he shed it inside out. Look at the different scales and patterns that nature provides, which I think is incredible. Slightly rougher, if you listen. Because obviously this is just pure skin without the snake. Doesn't smell very dry, not slimy. This is a good shed, sign of a healthy snake, because it's mainly all in one big, long piece. So this is Albert. He's slightly more orange than MJ. He's also an awful lot wider. It's harder to get your hands around him. It's really important with all animals to think about rescuing. And Albert is a rescue snake, meaning he couldn't stay in the original home he had. So we have offered him a new home from a rescue centre and he is an adult boa. He's about five and a half feet long. He probably won't grow much longer, but as you can see, he's quite a chunky lad. He's a, he's a big adult snake. He's our biggest snake. Albert has spurs, which are little curled bits by the vent or the base of his tail. And they're markers of when their ancestors used to have back legs. The back legs slowly regressed and became smaller and smaller until they disappeared. But these little spurs are left there as a reminder that once upon a time, there were snake-like creatures with legs. The vent of a snake, which is by their tail, right at the base, is basically its private parts. And generally a snake goes to the toilet once from a meal and it comes out of this vent. It's a mixture of brown and white waste. Urate is a more solid version of we, and they poo, but it comes out all at the same time. That's when they need a clean. So I hope you've enjoyed meeting our boa constrictors today. So we've got three questions today. The first question is, what is MJ's full name? If MJ is named after Thor's hammer, what is MJ's full name? The second question is, what does arboreal mean. We've talked about terrestrial snakes, now we're talking about arboreal snakes. What does that word arboreal mean? Question number three, when we talked about ancestors, where we talked about some spurs on the snake that where they used to have legs and their ancestors, it's in the past, but what is the process where animals slowly start to change? What's that scientific process called? I'll give you a clue. It starts with an E. So good luck with those questions and I will see you next time. Goodbye.